question 10 from paper 2 of the 2016 new hire, just a little three mark question. It's essentially an integration question where you've been led to the answer in part A. So it says, given that y is equal to this, find dy by dx. So dy by dx because it's ready to go. So you've got a function of a function, you'll be using the chain rule. That'll be a half of that to the power negative a half. And whatever's inside, you will then differentiate to get 2x. A half of the 2 disappears to 1, and you're left with x times that. That's x times x squared plus 7 to the power negative a half. But when you look at the form of the answer, you realise you'd be better off writing that as the square root underneath x squared plus 7. So that's the derivative. And of course, what's happening here is, if you were to see that as the derivative, you would know that if you were to integrate it, it would go back to this. So when in part b it says, hence find this integral, and you notice that this is the same as that, apart from a multiple, and multiples just stay at the front, these coefficients, then that is essentially just 4 times the integral of the expression you've got here. So that integral must go back to this. If that produced this, this produces that, but this is equal to this, so this goes back to that. So that means it should equal, I'm not left myself any room now, it should be 4 times this. And I'll just put it back in its original form, 4x squared plus 7 to the power of half, plus c. It's only worth one mark this step. It'd be rotten if they took a mark off for the plus c. If you forgot to put it in after you'd realised the connection.